Well, 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 it seems like ages since I did a Tuesday tech tip. I am going to start releasing them again monthly, and the video I'm going to share with you today was scheduled for release this coming Tuesday, but because of the fast-moving nature of the COVID-19 coronavirus and the UK government looking at closing schools and colleges, I thought time was of the essence. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to teach remotely using Microsoft Teams. Using a meeting in Teams is a great way to deliver teaching remotely. To create a meeting in Teams, go to the menu bar on the left of the screen and choose Calendar, and up in the right corner, select New Meeting. Here, you'll see a new window with all of the information for your meeting. And next, add the people required to attend. If you've already got a team site set up with the participants added, you can also add all of them here in one go. I've created a channel for each of my online lessons, so I can select that if I wanted to. You can have up to 250 participants in a meeting, so you should never really run out of space. You can set the date and timings of the meeting here, and also choose if you want the meeting to repeat if this will be a regular meeting. You can also set a location for the meeting if some or all of the team are also meeting in person. And there's a text box below for you to outline your meeting agenda. Next, click Send. You'll now see the meeting scheduled in your calendar and each participant will receive an email containing a link to the meeting. When it's time to host the meeting, click Join in the meeting window and you'll be taken to the meeting display where you can change some of the settings before you join the meeting live. You've got the option of turning the webcam on or off, you can mute your microphone and you can also blur out the background too if you wanted. Okay, so now it's time to join by clicking here. Okay, so we're now in uh, the team. We're live in Teams, and we've got Chris. Give us a wave, Chris. Hello. We've got Julie. Hello. And we've got Ben. <laughs> so we're now. So these would be my students if I was doing this as a live lesson. Um, I can see myself in the bottom corner as well. So what I would do from here is I'd want to share my screen so that I can um, show the students my PowerPoint. So I've got a PowerPoint already set up. It's about uh, construction and site safety signs on a construction site. So if I go to this button here, which is like an arrow and a screen, and click that, that's the share button. It takes a second. These are the windows that I've got open. And I'm going to click, select this one here, which is the health and safety PowerPoint. And then I'm just going to check. Can you see that screen now? In a minute, just I see you. Yeah, yeah, so it takes, it takes a couple of seconds for it to show. And then I'm going to go into slideshow mode from here so that should have updated on everybody else's now yeah, and then as somebody's talking in the bottom corner so Ben if you just say something for me um, that's a very that's a very uh, a red list <laughs> of prohibited signs. so what happens there is that teams knows which person speaking each time and their image appears in the bottom right hand corner for the presenter so from here I can go through the presentation talk through my stuff and then we can then stop sharing once I've completed we go back to the main page it just takes a second to update itself and then from here I can ask my students to share their screen so if we were working on a on a, an assignment and, we, and I wanted to see where they were at and they maybe working in a group or I wanted to share an individual's work with the rest of the team I could then ask so Chris if you could share your screen and show me what you've been doing in your PowerPoint Something should be coming up now. So it takes a second for it to yeah. uh, change. There we are. Cognitive learning. Nice. So then again, Chris could go through his PowerPoint. We could all talk about it. We could, we could give Chris some feedback. And then once he's finished, all he needs to do then is to stop sharing his screen. There you go. And we're back to the session. So from here, we could carry on talking. Each person could have a go. We could set some tasks and then we could sign out. So that's the meeting over and done with. Thank you very much. To stop the meeting, I'll just click the hang up button there and everybody else will need to hang up as well. And we're done. 
Now, there are a couple of other features that could also be useful to you whilst you're in your meeting. If you click on the three buttons here, you have a list of options, one of which is Show Meeting Notes. If we select that, you can then begin to take notes in the meeting. Just click in the Notes section to add notes, tasks and objectives. You can edit the formatting of the notes and even add tables. You can also record your meeting or live lesson by choosing the Start Recording option. When you finish, just choose Stop Recording. If you look in the chat feed, you can see that a recording has been made and is saving to Microsoft Teams. And because we made notes in the meeting, we now have a Meetings Note tab with our notes inside. And as we're using a channel in Teams, everyone in that team has access to the notes, so there's no need to email them out. So now the recordings have been processed in Microsoft Stream, you can view the recordings in the chat tab of your team site, so your students and your colleagues can all have access to a recording of your session.